Bruce Lee and Kamaru Usman. Our tale of the day for this welterweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Steen. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 13 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at a bunker of a time from Florida, presenting the challenger, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Usman. And now, introducing the champion, fighting. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. This should be good. Five rounds if needed to determine the UFC's welterweight champion. Nice punch. That's again the experience. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Kamaru Usman. Right hook to the body. Now he goes for the single leg. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. He postures into place. Both fighters get up now. Tags him with that uppercut. Oh, a huge block there. Shows him the left and then follows it up with the right. Nice one-two punch there by Usman. Well, he got his head snap back there, Joe. The straight punch lands flush to the head. And again, he's just not doing things defensively that you want to see. Move that upper body. Get that head off of the center line. Right now, he's just leaning right into his opponent's range. And he eats a right hand there. He blocks the punch. Oh, beautiful jab there by Usman. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Lee. Oh, both men exchange. Caught him with a punch. He's doing a very nice job protecting his head here. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Usman gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. 90 seconds now to go in this one. Good defense there. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Nice jab. Straight right hand, no good. Big punch. Under a minute now to go in the round. And he lands the hook. Just out of range with that left hook. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta Big find a way to move those feet. He's got him hurt here. Oh. oh! The champ is in deep danger here. He's really hurt, and he is gonna lose his title if he can't recover. Oh! 
Usman goes for the clinch now, Joe. He was stunned now. Oh, man. Posture's up. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Great work. You won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches. Use your... Here we see some high-level striking. Great accurate. All right, here we go with round two. That last round was an all-out brawl. They continue like that in this round. Somebody's getting knocked out. Oh, he He's got him hurt here. He's getting tagged. And he's looking for that left. How about that shin? Oh, tagged him. Missed on the strike attempt there. His stamina has really failed him here tonight. He's got to figure out a way to preserve some energy as this fight moves forward. Huge block there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Tagged him. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack oh, there. Nice. Oh, oh, he's clearly hurt. And another one. He's in trouble. Oh. Putting the pressure on him. But look at that, Scoots. And back up again. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Usman gets caught by the inside leg. Oh, he's hurt again! Oh. movement on the ground here, constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's got full mount, nice reversal. He's working from half guard now. Hammers. Good control, posture's up. Elbow him in the face. Trying to spin to the back. He's moved to full guard. Gets up again here, but hurting. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, he missed Whoa! that kick. Whoa! Oh, he's at it. Beautiful KO just as the round was ending. Wow, so how about that? Just before the end of the round, he lands an absolutely huge shot to drop his opponent. The referee wisely jumps in furiously to stop the fight. How about it? He catches the other guy just at the end of the round. Maybe his opponent was looking forward to the stool in the next round. Now he won't see it. What a result here tonight. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Boom. So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon. So the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. 
He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a She in the back of the truck, little mommy wanna f and she really wanna when I finish with it, then we go in the back of the club. Let me do this shit again, Pronto. Did they better do booty to beat it like a bongo?